dear students of standard 10 as we have discussed in previous class that the plants absorb water and minerals from the soil through root hairs these root hairs are present in the root which transport the water and minerals to the stem leaves and flowers or up to the flowers the xylem tissue are responsible to transport through interconnected vessels and tracheids organized into continuous conducting tubes stretching from the roots to the leaves that is all over the plants these root hairs are unicellular thin walled outgrowths of the epiblema here in the root section it is known as epiblema which is called epidermis in case of stem outer layer the root hairs are in close contact with the thin film of water surrounding the soil particles inside the uh, soil there are mineral salts such as uh, nitrates chlorides phosphates sulfates etc dissolve in water water absorbed by osmosis while the minerals are absorbed as and the form of iron by the active transport active transport we have discussed earlier uh, active transport and passive transport so in active transports which requires cellular energy against the diffusion this cell membrane has transport protein that allow this ion to cross the membrane the ion then moves upward through the xylem to the leaves and other aerial parts of the plant so what you have seen this movement that is the transportation of water and dissolved minerals mineral salts from the root to the leaves is known as ascent of sap so this is the total phenomena of ascent of sap now you should concentrate minutely here the cell wall of each root hairs is permeable membrane which uh, to water and minerals but the cell membrane and the membrane around the vacuoles are present are semi permeable the root hair cells take up minerals ion by active transport this situation creates concentration differences of these ions between the inside of the root and the outside of the root that is in the soil now the soil solution has higher water content in comparison to the cell sap of the root hairs that's why water moves or diffuses from the soil solution into the root hairs so movement start from here after the diffusion of water the root hair cells now become turgid by receiving the water while the adjacent cells of the cortex region have lower water content in the second step of the situation the result will be the diffusion of water from the root hairs into the cortical cells after passing through the cortical cells by osmosis 
the water reaches up to the endodermis as endodermis fulfill the desire of water that for forces water into the xylem tubes through passage cells now observe the whole situation the root hair cells first become turgid due to this turgidity that creates pressure on the water and that water moves into the cortex region now after fulfilling the desire of water in cortical region that exerts the pressure upon the water to move this water into the xylem this continuous chain of pressure is known as a root pressure so this is root pressure due to this uh, root pressure water moving upward forms a column which is maintained up to the certain height of the plant but uh, actually in tall trees this type of absorption uh, plays uh, not a major role that is a minor role in transporting water as it is a very slow process and that cannot fulfill the desire of loss of water by the transpiration transpiration you know the loss of water uh, by the evaporation so the loss of water due to the transpiration creates a suction force now transpiration starts so due to this evaporation transportation uh, transpiration starts so that creates a suction force this suction force that pulls water up to the through the xylem vessels this is known as a transpiration pull that serves as a main force that transport water through the xylem so this is all about the ascent of sap actually root pressure works at night to help transportation of water so today we will discuss here regarding the ascent of sap which is the transportation of water